26.2 miles through eight cities, ending in the center of Boston, Massachusetts, is the biggest race in the running world. One that some attempt, few qualify for, but all dream about. Growing up, this is you, I used to watch things on TV and hoping one of the things was to line up at the, one of the major marathons. When you're in Kenya, Kenya, running is like Olympics in Kenya. You watch the Olympics, you like, it's a big deal. Benson Lingott's dreams to line up in Boston were set to come true in April. So we're 11 minutes out, our start line's right over here. I'm gonna have everyone start heading that way. But the worldwide coronavirus pandemic sent the oldest annual marathon from Boston to hometowns. One minute, one minute! Langat's 26.2 miles would be run on the bike trails of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It's, it's special, especially in a way that it happened for a reason. The feat would become even more special for Langat. Out of 31,000 participants, 26 runners were selected as honorary Boston Marathon team members for their times and impact on their communities. Benson was named one of those 26. Yeah, friends from across the world reaching out and saying, hey, we wish you luck. Good job, Benson. The community here wishing me luck. With his running ability and job as a mental health therapist, Langat was an obvious choice. Running helps prevent a lot of things in life. And one of the things is the physical health, the mental health. And personally, I think it's really helped me um, throughout my, my life. First time coming into the United States, I mean, it just felt like you're coming to a country of you don't know anybody really. And for running so for me has helped me deal with a lot of different things. After getting his master's in social work, he began helping others realize their worth and potential while emphasizing the connection between exercising and mental health. There's so many things happening right now. A lot of the times we forget ourselves. One of the things that I always encourage is, you know, um, exercising. Exercising is something that um, a lot of the time could be taken as a task, but if you really create the time for yourself to say, hey, I want to do something for myself. Along with building the body and mind, exercising builds community. So when the spotlight was aimed at Langat, he found a way to shine it on others. This race is just not just for me, but also I used it as a fundraiser to help uh, raise money uh, to help with the great work they do at Children's Home Society. We pre-order t-shirts and um, the profits are going to benefit Children's Home Society, so I think it's a special thing. It is a special thing for us, it's a special thing for our city. Langat has embraced his second home, and the running community has become his second family. My running changed because of the running community here. To have the running community behind me is, is it's a special thing. Uh, it's a special thing in a way that, um, you know, having Mayor Paul Ten Egan in, in, in there, um, you know, Coach Jackie, um, Kelly Marshall, you know, um, Derek Farley from Avera, my co-worker Scott, uh, you know, uh, Marin and Nate Schwab, everybody will be representing the running community here. Um, and so, so I'm excited for that. Even though he hoped to run in Boston, the virtual race allowed Langat to have his support system by his side and the opportunity to do his honorary race on his home course. I love the Sioux Falls bike trail. I've traveled to other cities and to me this is special. We have a really great thing here. With that, I picked out the best route that I always run in, almost every, every day actually when I'm running. I say it's really determination. It's, I worked so hard. I mean, I was finishing up school. I also was uh, working full time. So um, it, it was. It took a lot of it took a lot of work, a lot of sacrifice. Through his dedication, Langat crossed the finish line and reached his childhood dream of running a major marathon. An accomplishment met with applause, celebration, and embrace. Good job, brother. With his time, Langat finished the Boston Marathon 21st overall. And from every mile marker to this milestone, he did it with his community by his side. 
and joined now by Elena Lanson. And we know Benson a little bit. He's been on this show before, but he's not all about himself, obviously. He's more about the people around him. And this was kind of a big event for the whole running community, wasn't it? It definitely was. And he told me he was so overwhelmed at the finish line. He was not expecting as many people there that were there on the running community of Sioux Falls. Uh, people traveled from out of state to come watch him and embrace him. And what is his lifelong goal uh, achieved? Nice. And what is with the t-shirts here? Yeah, so he's a mental health therapist. He worked at Children's Home Society for two years. And so when he was going to run the Boston Marathon, he's like, how can I give back? So it's a fundraiser. Uh, he sold these t-shirts and the same people that came to support him at the race, the entire running community of Sioux Falls um, also gave back to what he's doing off the trails. And he just said, it's just his lifelong goal and his passion to help people and just it's really cool to be able to do that in such a moment that's monumental for him as well. Yeah, very cool. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Elena Lansing.